Whether looking for peace and quiet or for guns and drugs, the modding community's talent coupled with the server admin's patience will usually find a place for you. As usual, I'll go through a list of some of the best servers on PC, hoping to find you a new forever home. If you have a recommendation, please share it below. I check out every server recommended to me, so your comment really does make a difference. And if you like the video, please leave a like or a subscribe. More of these videos will come in future and it really does help me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All the way to Tizzy so that I can get... Whoa. I can see the zombie patches have come on in leaps and bounds. First, we have a well-known and well-established server with a huge player base. It's called... Lone Survivor. This server has helicopters, traders, safe zones and excellent base building and raiding. The boosted loot and the rules which are on its discord make this a fun server whether you're a solo player like me most of the time or in a group. It's first person only and it's global chat is a great way to form trades which have to be done in good faith according to the rules. Again it's a very fun server and one of the few on this list that really supports solo players. You can you can see why I'd be confused, right? Next, we have an 80 slot Chinaris server called Genesis PC. This server offers everything from helicopters to the aforementioned drugs. It also offers you the ability to select your own spawn city, allowing you to begin your loot run however you see fit. Although the server has mods, as displayed, it still offers a close to vanilla experience in terms of loot and general survival. I always get asked for servers that offer this type of play, and this is definitely a great balance. Genesis PC, go check it out. We have another the server next which has an EU and US version available it's called the Perception. This is a very active server with a huge population and if you're looking for a busy ever-growing community this one is for you. With ongoing events, traders, additional loot, safe zones, helicopters and many quality of life additions as well as a plethora of rules for improving your base building experience. Another Chinara server that is absolutely worth your time. Then we have a good Dia Isle server. This one is called Rearmed EU Deer Isle with a US version available too. This is another server with a fun and interactive community. Anyone familiar with the rearmed servers knows you don't have to spend too long on them before you find your way. This offers anything but a vanilla esque experience with amazing mods and a dedicated admin team. Traders, base building, unique loot. This is not a server to be slept on. This is a server that's especially good for experienced players who may be a little bit bored with the original formula. However, it is is definitely welcoming to everybody. It offers things such as unlimited stamina, it's first person only, there's a 40 second logout timer to prevent combat logging. It's a really good, well polished server. Anytime I want to just jump into DayZ and have a smooth but focused experience, I always go to a rearmed server. If you've never tried a rearmed server before, I absolutely recommend just give them one a go. They have multiple maps, different mod combinations, and a huge, incredible community. Moving on, since a certain other server closed down, I had to find new whiter pastures, leading me to the snowy isle of Karma Kruna Mausk 1pp hardcore. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. This is a true hardcore server with a very active community. Very active community. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Oh. Pickaxe. You won't be in any cities or areas long before you begin to run into people and honestly not everybody is going to be your friend. That's not to say you won't meet nice people, you absolutely will but over two dozen hours in I found others to be very desperate and relationships with strangers to be precarious at best which honestly led to some of the most incredible adventures and betrayals I've ever experienced on Namask. Love the server, highly recommend it for a hardcore Namask experience. Yeah, come in here, we'll shake on it. Next, and this has been my most requested server type out of every type I add to these videos, so I'll offer a few with multiple maps. It is a vanilla-like experience. The first one is on Chinaris, and it's called Spaggy's Vanilla Chinaris Green. This is a first person only server and is one of only two servers on the list with no mods. What can I say? Great community, popular, well known. It's essentially an official server, but with a much more refined community. One that has a discord and some pretty great communication. But let's say you want a vanilla experience with a few additions on a different map. For that, we have none other than another Spaggy's server, this one called Spaggy's Takistan Plus. The few mods it has will appear on the screen at the top. Takistan is a great map. First person again, are worth your time and effort. This is a very underrated map in my opinion and I always love servers that feature it. 
But the last vanilla map I'm going to offer is a server with no mods and no base building, which is another requested server feature. It's called Zero Chinaris. Obviously, this gives you a great official experience on a community server. Well worth your time, definitely give it a go. But breaking away from vanilla, we have a PvP server called Raw Core Deathmatch. This is a hell of a PvP server and great for single shot sniping because you're given some great one shot kill guns here. You can either snipe or go close range. I know there are lots of PVPs out there but I mentioned this one specifically because I just found it to be really fun. Raw core, worth a look. So this guy was camping and now I'm camping and I brought snacks. Next and this is a huge server with basically everything a PVE player would want. It's called Frankie's Day Sack and it's filled with everything from helicopters to numerous base building improvements including drugs, a banking system, even spawn select for anyone wanting to spawn close to a friend. This is a large 100 slot Chinara server and wait for it, it doesn't have zombies. None. Another requested feature. But do not confuse this for an easy server. This is a proper survival server with a lot of mods making sure you actually have to survive. No zombies, lots of cool wildlife. This is an incredible way to learn how to play DayZ and figure out its systems or for experienced players to capitalize on what you know and go big. Friendly community, always willing to help and a server well worth sinking hundreds of hours into. But if the no zombie thing is a deal breaker, check out Smoky Haze. This is a server around half the size that still offers everything from traders and drugs to much better base building all without PvP. You can also select where you spawn, so if you want to do this game with a friend, this is a really good way to do it. When I first started on the server, I literally had two random people speak to me and then help me build a base. Smoky Haze, always worth it, great community. Livonia servers can be hit and miss, but given even we're expecting updates this year, finding a good one is important. And that brings us to Apocalypse DayZ. This is a great server with custom vehicles, custom loot, a fun community, airdrops, well worth your time exploring for, and it's just a great place to build a base. It also has the Beam Basher, which is just one of my favorite weapons ever. It's beautiful. So if you're looking for a good Livonia server, definitely check this one out. When asked if I role play, I always tell people it's not my thing, and yet Every time I do it, I always have fun. Which brings me to the next server, Project Outlast. This server is on a smaller island filled with the infected. Filled with the infected. It's a strict roleplay only game and when you get going, it really works. I was surviving in a cabin with some people I've met and one of us decided we were allergic to the only food we had. <clears throat> me. So we had to go and get more. It was a small thing but it made for a great adventure where we met some interesting people. I couldn't not include this server. It is a black sheep slash dark horse slash shadow duck. I don't, I don't know a third one. Uh, well this is awkward. But some servers require flags to stop your base from decaying over time and if you want to know how to build a base including these flags, click here. And as always, until next time.